Okay, today we are talking about high order degree polynomials. Um, this is nothing new that we haven't come across. Um, we'll still be factoring like we have before, but this time we're going to use a little more knowledge um, of exponents to do so. Um, so I'm just going to walk through a couple example problems uh, to kind of get you guys on the right path. Um, and then should be good to go. Uh, so let's look at example one. We are told to factor x cubed plus 4x squared plus 4x. So we're used to having um, polynomials of the degree 2, but now we have degree uh, 3 because this is the higher, highest degree of this polynomial. So um, what we can notice, first of all, so to start with the simple things, is what do each of these share? Um, and it's pretty evident here that each of these share an x. So what I can do, first step, is just pull out an x. Right? Um, and then from here, we've, we've seen this before. This is just um, looking at this, what is the product of x squared? Just gonna be x times x. What is the product of four? It's gonna be two times two or one times four. In this case, it's two times two because two plus two will equal four. So finish out factoring this out is gonna be x plus two, x plus two. And to write it shorter, we're just gonna do x plus two squared. So that's the answer for the first example. Um, let us look at the second example, which is a little different. Example two, asked to factor three x cubed minus 27 x. So again, let's look, see what these two share. We see that both of them share an x again, right? So three x squared minus 27. Uh, what else do we notice? Pause the video and think about it for a little bit if you need to. You can notice that um, both of these are divisible by three, right? So I can take a three out as well, minus nine. And this looks pretty familiar as well, right? Like here, x squared again is just x times x and negative nine, don't forget the negative, that's very important. Negative nine is the product of negative one times nine or negative three times three. So we're gonna use this one because positive three uh, minus three is gonna give us zero. And since there's nothing here, we're just gonna go with this one. So we're gonna end up with three x, x minus three times x plus three. That is our answer. Um, I will leave the next two examples for you guys to walk through um, on your own in the book. Uh, try and do it before um, looking at the answer. Try and do it on your own. Um, and use the solution for a guide on how well you did. Uh, and if you have any questions, again, just let me know in the chat um, section of Teams, and I will try and help you out as best as possible.